Hello, from Chemfax Labs. <laughs> this is Dr. Nick Jordan and Dr. Dylan Zuck on the Carbon Graphite Foam Dehydration of Sucrose Lab. Uh, this lab will deal with sulfuric acid and dextrose in our case, which are then mixed and the oxygen and hydrogen are stripped from the sugar carbon ring and they're therefore creating a black carbon foam. When the reaction occurs, a poisonous sulfur dioxide gas is released, which is highly toxic, and uh, this is a highly exothermic process. Our first step is to take the dextrose and add it to our large reaction beaker. Next, we will add sulfuric acid to the mixture. Once done, we take the glass stirring rod and mix it together. Once this is done, you can just sit back and watch as the reaction occurs. As you can see, the reaction takes a few minutes to fully react until the foam, the carbon foam, starts to form.
what happened was the sulfuric acid, once it came in contact with the sugar, it started to rip the hydrogen and oxygens off the carbon rings, causing a carbon graphite foam to form. This is a very highly exothermic reaction and it, release, it releases a lot of heat and sulfur dioxide, which is a poisonous gas. Once the reaction is complete, the graphite foam will begin to solidify and this can be dealt with and disposed of by pouring a sodium bicarbonate solution onto it and waiting for it to uh, neutralize and then pour down a drain in your chem lab. Thank you.